Hi guys, I've had a few requests of late to show people how I get the kind of soft pastel blue skies that I've been getting with a lot of my my work, and especially with the, the stuff I did in the Midwest and other sort of contemporary sort of looking images. So it's really simple. This is probably why I haven't done a tutorial before because it's it seems so simple. It's it's crazy. Anyway, here's our image here. I'm going to. Uh, go to my adjustments here panel and I'm going to go do a color lookup load a 3d LUT now the one I always use now you can see I've got heaps of LUTs in here and uh, I got mine from buying the 3d LUT creator program and in there you can get all the LUTs that have been created by other people and load them into Photoshop so that I have them here now um, in Photoshop you only have a small amount but I've got heaps so not all of them are good some of them are pretty rubbish but the ones that I've been using the most is the teal and orange because what it does is it gives you a um, you know that really kind of soft pastel blue color sky it takes all that magenta out of the skies now it's probably not as realistic but it, it, it for me I think it's a nicer look so there's our teal and orange why did that go like that that was a stupid thing Anyway, I just don't get these little, I'll have to do a tutorial on how to organize these palettes better. I, I don't do a very good job of it myself, so I need to learn, then I can show other people, but seriously, they just, they move and they do all sorts of weird things. Anyway, that's the, the first one. You can see it's teal and orange. The next thing I do is I uh, duplicate that, Command or Control J, and then I change the blend mode of that top one from normal down to screen. When I do that makes everything get very light as you can see probably too light so I'll start bringing the opacity back and I'm just looking at the the, the clouds I don't want them to be too blown out that's right off and I'm just sort of taking it up to where I'm happy with the softness and the pastelness then I go back down to the layer underneath which is the other LUT layer and I'll just drop the opacity back to zero you can see it's quite purpley and I'll just pull that up until I find it's the color that I'm looking for, something like that. And that's pretty much it. That's what I do with most of them. Uh, the only other thing I might do if I feel that it's the the blacks have sort of lost a bit of an edge is I'll just go in and um, uh, I will go and do a channels. Um, I, make, I create a uh, selection from the channel. So I'll just command click on the RGB and then go back to my layers palette and I'll just look at a levels adjustment layer and I'll just pull that black point down a little bit. You can see just a smidgen. And if I'm that's only if I want to put it through the foreground, you know. If I'm happy with that, um, uh, that will be how it stays. That just adds a little bit of oomph back in those blacks. So if I go back to the start, original image, that one. So you can see how it's kind of toned quite nicely. It's more of a contemporary look. Anyway, very simple, short and sweet, but that's all I do. Cheers guys.